Hey guys, this is Patrick uh, in Japan. Just wanted to do a quick video uh, kind of going through the contents of the new King Kong vs. Godzilla 4K Remaster Ultra High Disc Limited Edition box set. Yay! This For me, this is the home video event um, of the year, if not the century. Finally, classic Godzilla on a 4K Ultra High Definition Disc. Um, so I sprung for the limited edition I said, what the heck, um, I'm pretty excited. So here's what you get. Um, you get, first of all, a flyer, just like a standard kind of movie theater, Tarashi, for the original. And then you get a uh, flyer for this, uh, what is what is Godzilla vs. Kong? Uh, it says it comes out on 514. Uh, in Japan, but that's actually not going to happen. Um, this movie has been postponed indefinitely due to Corona, and I'm actually okay with that. Um, and then you get a Godzilla vs. Kong sticker. I don't know what I will do with this. Okay, so now on to the big enchilada. Uh, here's the box containing both um, the 4K remastered disc and a Blu-ray. Uh, kind of a 1080p version of the new remaster. Um, and here's the back of the box that kind of basically tells you what you're going to be getting. And uh, let's dive right in. Okay. So this slipcase part comes off. There he is. That incredible Japanese King Kong design that haunts your dreams. On the front is, of course, the King Goji suit design. Uh, and you get, with the limited edition, uh, two books. Two bonus books. This one is uh, a reproduction of a manga that was done in 1991 by uh, Shigeru Komatsuzaki, who was kind of Toho. Toho is like one of their main kind of film concept illustrators and just kind of one of the grand old men of Japanese science fiction and fantasy illustration and design. And uh, this is so cool. His artwork is just fantastic. I gotta go in here. So it's an adaptation, uh, focus please, of um, focus issues. Adaptation of the film. Uh, there's the guys on the submarine. Uh, there's their submarine hitting the iceberg. Here's the the stuff with the natives, and I gotta say, there's just uh, there's kind of like an almost an R. Crumb sort of feel to some of these illustrations. Um, just great stuff. Giant octopus fun. This focusing sure is fun. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, let's go for one nice two-page spread. Okay. So it ends on a slightly revisionist note, as we don't really see King Kong going out to sea like he does in the movie. You just kind of see Godzilla uh, consumed in the water. And then Owari. Okay, so the second book is pretty amazing. Uh, it's a collection of uh, production photos. Uh, from the film, and I have to say, as someone who owns a lot of Godzilla movie books, I have never seen the great majority of the photos in this book. Uh, a lot of them seem to be uh, what they would call NGs, or kind of outtakes. There's usually something in the photo. Sometimes there's a little bit of blur. This may be why we've never seen these before. Uh, or the kind of a, like a lens misalignment, kind of like what I'm it's kind of suffering with right now, but uh, on the whole, there's just some fantastic images here. If there's a little blur or something, I, I don't really mind, to be perfectly honest. There's some shots in here that uh, I've seen a zillion times, but like, good God, uh, I've, I've never seen the production photo from inside the hole where they try to blow Godzilla up with gasoline and stuff. Uh, just a crazy book. How many pages are we looking at here? It's uh, about 112. Uh, and this, this is, this is just, uh, the size is a little small, it's a little hands, you know, about the same size as a disc. But, um, it's just, it's just fantastic. I'm just gonna pull this out all the time and look at it. And, uh, give myself nightmares. Okay. 
So on to the disc package itself. Inside is the case, the standard clamshell case. Uh, my guess is that uh, eventually they will be selling this uh, without all the limited edition goodies. Uh, it hasn't been announced yet when that's going to happen, but it's just only a matter of time. And inside the case, you get uh, some flyers for more exciting upcoming uh, DVDs from your buddies at Toho. Uh, a little pamphlet explaining what ultra high uh, HD Blu-ray is. And then the, the discs themselves. So here is the, uh, the 4K Ultra HD disc with Godzilla on it. And then the, uh, the Blu-ray. Uh, which I will probably never play because I have a 4K HD TV and that's the whole reason I bought this set in the first place. And uh, having watched the disc last night, a uh, brief review, it looks fantastic. That's the best this movie has ever looked on a home video. And I'm speaking as someone who has survived uh, watching it on TV a lot. Uh, the Blu-ray, I think I had the laser disc from Toho at one point. It's always been a film that looked uh, really colorful, but um, the 4K remaster has incredible sharpness, incredible clarity. Uh, I think that the ink, uh, the uh, the black levels don't go particularly deep. It still kind of has a slight kind of gray quality that you see in a lot of Japanese home video transfers, but not a biggie. Uh, another big plus is uh, there's not a lot of digital noise reduction. It looks like uh, film. It's a pleasingly film-like transfer, and that, that means a lot because in the past, uh, I think some Japanese uh, and just, just film remastering in general can overdo the... Uh, can overdo the NDR and mess things up. But either way, um, this was a fantastic disc. I recommend if you are um, capable of watching something in 4K, this is absolutely the way to go. It's a massive upgrade over what we've been given so far. And uh, right now Toho is currently in the middle of um, remastering and broadcasting all of the kind of the classic Showa Godzilla films uh, for the Nihon Ega Senmon channel, the Japanese cable TV channel, and um, I assume Toho will begin releasing the films individually. Uh, maybe in sets like this, I'd be cool with that. Uh, it's about a 150 bucks a pop, so this is they're gonna get you one way or another. Uh, but check it out. That's it. Thanks so much for watching my video.